Hi, we're on topic two. This is the vocabulary, um, just kind of intro for working with equal groups. Um, the, the terms that we're going to be discussing, even, odd, array, row, column. We'll also be talking a lot about how to model something, skip counting, as well as repeated addition. Um, we'll start with this first term of even. Um, even refers to, and I'm just looking for this little piece of paper, um, I guess a number that can be shown as two equal groups. Um, these are some examples of even numbers. Um, even means that it can be shown as two equal groups. So if I had two cubes, I could have one on this plate and one on this plate. Both of them have one, they're equal. Um, if I had, oh, I should pick a different color, not green. Um, if I had the number four, and let's say I had four apples, I could put two apples on this plate, and I could put two apples on this plate. That's even. I don't have any left over. Um, let's say that I had six potatoes. That's a lot of potatoes. All right, if I wanted to put six potatoes and I have two people and I want to share them evenly, each person could have three potatoes. One, two, and three. This is a doubles fact. Three plus three is six. Let's pretend I have eight strawberries and I'm going to share them with two friends. Eight strawberries. Each friend would get four strawberries. They have an even number. There's not any leftovers. Um, it's even. A number that can be shown into two equal groups. Um, you can also show numbers that end with a zero. So like the number 10, for example, has a zero in the ones place. Um, I could show that the number 10 is also even. Um, if I had 10 bouncy balls, let's just do bouncy balls. Um, I could give five to one person and five to another person and they would both have the same amount. They would have equal groups. So that would be even. Something that you can remember is that if the ones place has a zero, a two, a four, a six, or an eight, then that number is considered even. You could split it into two equal groups and there wouldn't be any leftovers. Um, a lot of times during this topic too, you will see some cubes that might not be the best rectangle. Just pretend like it's great and it looks like they're the same. No, I'm going to do a redo. That's super not close to being the same. All right. Here's me pretending that I can make rectangles perfectly. All right. There we go. That's much better. All right. So if I was looking to see if these are even groups of cubes, um, I would see that each of these has four cubes. Each of these, these are called rows. Each row has four cubes. I could split those in, into two equal groups. Four plus four has a sum of eight. Um, these are equal groups. So the number eight must be even. Um, another example I guess I should show you, like you can have any number that you want. Um, five, seven, eight, four, two. All I really care about is looking at this ones place, I could tell that this number is even. If I was to split 57,842 into equal groups, which I would never want to do that because it takes so long, um, I could tell you that it would be even. There wouldn't be anybody that would be left out if you had split them into equal groups. Even, what you need to remember is in, this, in the ones place you have a 0, 2, 4, 6, or an 8. Um, you can skip count by twos to any even number and not have any leftovers. Um, we're going to talk about the word odd next. Odd. Um, odd numbers, here's my little page, um, end in, with the ones place, 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9. So if you were going to try to put like 7 cubes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 
and you had them lined up and you wanted to see if they would make equal groups, they wouldn't. There would always be one that was left out. If you had seven strawberries and you wanted to split them with two friends, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, this person would have four strawberries and this one would have three. Those are not equal because four and three do not, are they're not the same number. They're, they're considered odd. So the number seven is odd. We will talk a lot more about this as we get going. This is just kind of a sneak peek at some vocabulary. Um, I don't expect you to be an expert on it now. These are things that you might remember learning in first grade. If you don't, it's fine. We're going to look a lot deeper into it. So even and odd. The next thing that I want to talk about is the word array. Um, an array is a special word. Um, it means, and I'm just going to look at my cheat sheet. Um, it's a, essentially, it's a picture. It's a way that you can model um, a group of objects. So, like, let's say, I'm just going to stick with strawberries. We're going to pretend that all of these are strawberries. All right, let's say you have six strawberries. Um, notice that the way that I've shaped these, I have three on the top row. I have three in the bottom row. It's equal. If I was to draw a box around this, it would look like a rectangle. So what you need to remember about an array is that it can fit into a rectangle. It doesn't mean that I could put four up here and three down here and then it looks like a rectangle. No, 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 no. In an array, you have equal rows and equal columns. So I could have an array with five on the top and that would also mean that I have to have five in the bottom row as well. Um, an array has equal rows and equal columns. But what is a row? What is a column? Um, when I think of rows, I think of they go across. So this one, I could say this is an array. It has five in each row. Um, if I wanted to look at the columns, think of like a house. There are some really fancy houses that have columns that like help support up in the front. Those are supposed to be columns. If you want to look at a house with the columns, then you could just Google it. Um, but anyways, columns go up and down. Rows go left to right. Um, so a column, let's do that same array of 10 that has 5 on the top and 5 on the bottom. I'm trying to keep them lined up because when I go back and I'm circling where my columns are, I need to go up and down. One, two, three, four, five. So there are one, two, three, four, five columns of two. So there's two in this column, two in this column, two in this column, two in this column. If I wanted to write an equation about the columns in here, all I would have to do is put a plus sign between those twos that I just wrote. If I was to count all of these up, I would have 10. Um, Two, four, six, eight, ten. I can just skip count by twos and and get that it is a um, a sum of ten. I could go back and count all of these to make sure that there are ten, but I don't have to because I know that each column is equal. And if I just did my skip count, I can get all the way to ten without having to do that. Um, with rows and columns, something that I want you to remember is this little chant. And so it goes a little something like this. Rows, rows, left to right, left to right, left to right. Columns, columns, up and down, up and down, up and down. Back on that same picture of an array that you have in your head, remember an array is where you have objects that can fit together nicely into a group. Like let's pretend you had an array and it was looking like this. So I know that I'm putting four, so the next row that I make also has to have four. Okay, so check out this array. If I'm looking to figure out how many um, objects are in each row, I need to look left to right. Remember, rows, rows, left to right. Um, so across here, we've got one, two, three, and four. There's four, 
in that row. I don't even have to count how many are in the next row because I know it's going to be four. And since there are three rows, I'm gonna write four number fours. If I was asked, please write an equation about the rows, I could say four plus four plus four. Four plus four is eight. If I add four more onto that, it will be 12. Um, soon you're gonna start learning some skip counting songs if you don't already know them um, for fours. Um, and it'll make it a lot easier when you are adding. Until then, you might just have to remember your doubles facts, four plus four, um, and then add on from there. You can also make an equation about the columns of this array. So here, this is an equation about the rows. Um, here's an, gonna be an equation about the columns. So I'm gonna just erase these little number fours real quick. Um, if I'm looking at the columns, remember the columns go up and down. So up and down, I've got one, two, three. If there are three in that column, each of these columns, and there are one, two, three, four columns that I would have in here, each of those is gonna have the same number of three. And my marker is not wanting to cooperate, but three. So I will have three number, I'm sorry, four number threes um, for my columns equation. Three plus three plus three, and there's another three. I don't have to even add all of those because it's gonna have the same sum as what my rows are. So three, six, nine, 12. Because there are still going to be 12 circles that are in this array. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Every single time it's gonna have the same when you're um, writing your row and your column equations. It's going to have the same sum. If you saw that maybe you got 11, let's pretend you got 11, you should look at that and say, hey, my rows said I had 12, my column says that I have 11, I need to go look back at my math because that doesn't make sense. And then you would be able to figure out, hmm, okay, there's where I made my mistake. Um, so with arrays, rows, and columns, you're going to be asked to model. You're going to ask. You're going to be asked to um, draw some pictures. Um, something that you should know is that hmm, every single number you would be able to draw an array for. So even if it's an odd number, like the number nine, you can draw an array for the number nine. Um, your rows and columns have to be equal. You could draw an array for the number nine where you have nine circles all in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You could draw another array for the number nine where you've got, and I don't know why I'm even drawing the rectangle first. It might be easier to do that after. You could put three on the top, three in the next row, and three in the next row. That would be another array for the number nine. Um, this equation would look different than this equation. Um, this one would just be one nine, so that would kind of be what the equation would look like. Um, it has nine in the rows, but then it also has, um, if I was asked to draw an equation about the columns, I would write one plus one plus one until I have nine ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine ones has the sum of nine, so that one takes a little bit longer. If I was going to do this, I wanted to write a, an equation about my rows. Um, at the end of each row, I'm writing the number three. That helped me to remember how many were in that row. So my rows equation would be three plus three plus three and that has a sum of nine. If I wanted to write an equation about the columns, three in each column, and there are three columns, three plus three plus three also has a sum of nine. Um, something that you're going to learn in third grade is that repeated addition and multiplication are like best friends. So since I have three threes in third grade, you'll learn that that is the same as three times three, which has a value of nine. Not something I'm supposed to teach you, but maybe something that you could pick up as we move along in this. Um, let's try another one of these. Um, let's pretend you have the number 12 and you're asked to make an array for the number 12. Um, you could do this in several different ways. 
Um, let's see. I don't know why I'm drawing this. I could put six. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oops. Eleven, twelve. Because 12 is even, I know that I could put them into um, columns of two. So this, I've got six in each row. Six plus six is a doubles fact. All doubles facts are even, um, have even sums, I guess I should say. Um, so there are six in this row, six in this row. Six plus six is 12. Um, I could also do an equation about my columns, two, 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 and two. And if I counted them, I should have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I just put my little plus sign in between, here is my equation about the columns. Um, if I was to flip this around another direction, let's say I wanted to make an array of 12, but maybe I want it to look a different way. Um, I could flip this array where I've got columns 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I've got 12 items, but instead of having two rows of six, I've got six rows that have two in each row. So I could switch it around and it would be an array still of the same amount of 12. There's another equation that you could do about 12 and making an array. You could make an array with four on the top and four on the bottom. Oops, I'm gonna need to do another row. And another group of four. Um, and this four plus four plus four also has a value of 12. Um, there's lots of different array combinations that you can find. Um, but that's something that you're going to be looking at a lot more um, is the word array. You're going to be having to make a model. And make a model just means to make your own array. Um, oftentimes, it'll just mean to draw a picture. Um, learning some skip counting. We talked about if a number is even, then you can skip count by twos, and you'll say that number. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Um, you can skip count by twos to it, then that means that it's even. Um, repeated addition, with our arrays and our models, we're going to be using a lot of repeated addition. So that is another term that you're going to hear a lot when we're talking about working with equal groups, um, with our even and odd, and just a lot in this chapter. It's going to be fine. You're going to be great. You're going to find out about even and odd really quickly. You're going to remember our rows, rows and our columns, columns song, um, and that's going to help you as well.